Hi, everyone. Welcome into this week's edition of the Rochester Press Box. Bill Pucker with you and the guys, Tariq Spence. Is it the Super Bowl yet? Because I just want to get to the Super Bowl. We got another week to go. Oh, this is the fun week in between where nothing's happening. Well, well, no, nothing's happening. The Pro Bowl's happening. Nothing's Pro Bowl. Ha- We're going to get into it. The, uh, Joe, what was your vote on the Tom Brady? Uh, producer Joe. Uh, do, you, do, do you own? Do, well, I want your vote. Do you think he owns a Tom Brady jersey? I think not. I will say... Yes. No, of course not. Why would I have a Tom Brady jersey? What are you, lying? So instead, in honor of Tom's retirement, you're wearing Drew Bledsoe. Uh, Drew Bledsoe, the man whose job was unceremoniously ripped from him from that ungrateful, long-faced, now man, Tom Brady. All right, so in a way, it's sort of Tom Brady. Not even close, but go on. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's have some fun. You know, the Pro Bowl, they're not playing the game this year. Mm-hmm. We're talking about this every year we've been doing the show. Well, they're having some fun with it. They're doing this, doing that. And I was thinking, like, what if you had... What if you could create the agenda for the Pro Bowl? Do anything. For instance, I, there's a couple things off the top of my head. I would love to see these guys get together for a pickleball tournament, <laughs> and I wouldn't mind seeing them play a three-on-three basketball event. You got anything you might like to see these guys? Pickleball's do. fun, especially since it's the hot sport right now. They're already celebrities. I mean, everything is right there for a, a successful program. It it, it <laughs> is, but it, here's the, the problem with. I mean, you're running into it basically on its own. All these guys have done is play 18 to 20 games all year long. The last thing they want to do is put on the pads for a game that really doesn't mean anything and they're not going to get a bonus out of it. That being said, I mean, there's got to be some sort of fun way. Pickleball sounds like fun because it's the hot sport of this moment. Who knows what it'll be in six years. Too bad Aaron Rodgers playing pickleball against whoever. Whatever. I I can perfectly imagine Aaron Rodgers. He looks like every guy that plays pickleball right now. I mean, a a Madden game where you see see them playing each other. I don't don't know. I mean, there's there's just... I just... the, The sad part about it is you extended the season out for them to play even a flag football game is risky. You guys are thinking about this the whole wrong way. I can. Oh, watch, I, watch, I thought you. I was sure you'd have a this, no, I, the idea. I have the idea because we watch them compete athletically every we'll week. We'll be the judge. And, and we know <laughs> we know that they're great athletes. Whatever you dodgeball, whatever. I want to see them do regular everyday stuff that I'm pretty sure they can't do. <laughs> I right. want you to cook a meal for my family. Like let's do a cooking contest for a family of four from a bunch of guys between the ages of 23 and 30 oh, years see. old. Oh, your chest style. I want you to go through the grocery store with $75 and be able to make three meals for the rest of the week. See what he's doing? Wouldn't you watch that, though? It's absolutely you would watch that. I would, just to see them screwed up. But he expands the audience out. You bring in a different group of people who will probably be cooking for that Super Bowl anyway. You're going out to maybe Food Network or whatever it may be. I, I see where he's going with this with the humor of making fun of yourself as Everything an athlete. Everything is sellable. Absolutely. You guys didn't even hear the best competition. Uh, this woman who is your wife is mad at you. Make it better with only your words. Go. I can't do that. You can't do that. I can't do any of the things I brought up. Let's see. Josh Allen's great on the field. Let's see you make your wife not mad at you. <laughs> yeah, after spending that much time away, uh, I just think it's such, it, it is an opportunity to do something with this that people would watch and enjoy. But look at, look I mean, at wait, the, the Mahomes, remember Mahomes Allen playing golf? But we were at, all dialed Look at in. what Radio Row has become. Radio Row has become this sort of, I want to sell, I want the star to come in, I want to sell you this, I want to do you that, and then we can talk about the game afterwards, that sort of thing. It, I, I, I get it. I don't, I don't know what the activity is, Pickleball. but that does interest me. <laughs> Pickleball ain't a bad idea right now. Because anybody can it. play it. Yes, but and it's fun. I'll tell you what you should do. Look, all of the All-Star games suck now, right? They're terrible. Yeah. I hate all of them. So but this like, is the worst of them. I agree with you. And the NHL All-Star game's not great either. I, I would watch that over this. Uh, yeah, I would Well, this too. is so bad they canceled it, right? That's, they don't even do it well, now. Why don't we do what they used to do with Why World of Sports, where you get, you know, your best athletes across all four sports. If you're, if you're voted as an all-star, you are now in this and do a track and field style event like they used to do with... Superstars, sh- right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard and Wayne Gretzky, cool. right? Like those guys competing in track and field events against each other. I would watch that in a you second. Remember the open a Wide World of Sports, it's, it's like... An event, too. The ski jump off the side. Yes, yes. The open sequence of that had a guy flying off the side of a ski jump. I feel bad. That's the only reason why I watched it. The agony of defeat. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) And they coined a phrase. So feel free to send us in your suggestions. (laughs) This is the Rochester Press Box. We're talking about the Buffalo Bills next.
Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy. If you like to travel like I do, you'll love my travel books. Buy one, get one free right now. Email me, let me know what you need. Mike the getaway guy at gmail.com. I'll even sign it. Mike the getaway guy at gmail.com. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on the Rochester Press Box. Our Buffalo Bill segment is brought to you by Ralph Honda for three generations and celebrating 50 years as New York's first and oldest Honda dealer. Visit Ralph Honda today. Find out how we do Honda right at ralphhonda.com. Uh, before we move on to Buffalo Bills, I really did have to say, he came up with the idea. Yeah. Competitive dog walking. Yeah, Josh Allen walked my dog. <laughs> Every dog walks a competition, man. I get it. I get how about the pro football player Uber drive me to the airport? Oh, I like it. That, what was a taxi cab confession? <laughs> Something like yeah, that. Much that was different show. Successful. Much different show, but you were saying. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. Really Not that I ever watched that. <laughs> uh, look, there, there's a narrative out there that says defensive coaches can't be head co successful head coaches in the modern day NFL. You buy that? No, I John don't. McDermott? No, I don't buy that. In fact, I would make the argument the opposite, right? Like, a defensive head coach has to let go of more things offensively, right? If you don't know of what you speak, you have to rely on other people. And I am convinced that the best NFL coaches throughout history, at least the ones that we know are good and we're relying on talent, are guys that are open to different ideas. Andy Reid's a perfect example of that. I think Sean McDermott is as well. Like, you see Sean McDermott bring in a guy like Josh Allen with no offensive expertise in any way. And Josh Allen broke math, went from a guy who was a sure bust to a top three quarterback in the NFL. And I think you see this over and over and over again with different teams. I think the collaboration is more important than having a brilliant offensive mind. And you only need to point to places like Arizona recently, places like Los Angeles with the Chargers recently to prove the point. Uh, I'll go back even a decade ago. And uh, when the Patriots were on the run, their defensive, their head coach was a defensive coach. And it's so interesting. He found the right offensive guy and the right offensive mind. Still looking for that now. And the right quarterback, obviously that helps too. And a healthy one to make it all work. So I, I don't I don't really buy this thing. that They had this, thing, to Duffy's point, they've had this thing before about defensive coaches and, and all these different uh, things that they need to do, find the right offensive mind, these creative minds. Then when those offensive minds get head coaching green positions, they turn out to be terrible. Yes. So it's it, it's been a disaster for years. I just think this is just a trend thing with the, what the Rams did last year and where, obviously, uh, Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs are right now. And the way they look now, it just looks like offensive. And yeah, part of this is I subscribe to is – and I see it as a fix, is why a defensive head coach doesn't draft almost exclusively offensive. They go the other way because they know defense, they draft into defense, but if you draft it into offense on the, on the belief that you can yourself make the defense better, that would be a way to go. But they don't do it. These defensive head coaches, McDermott, drafting defensive line and yes. all the rest of that stuff, that's what they do. And I think the problem is, and you're right, the Bills are a perfect example of this. You think you can, you see something, right? This is a toy that you can use to make your side of the ball dominant. You see offensive players do it the same way. Maybe it's hard for these defensive coaches, head coaches, if they have the final say in who they're going to take to see what an offensive coach would see. But I think sometimes it's too hard to turn down a toy that you know you can do special things with. And maybe that's the blind spot that would cause problems. Well, it's also, look at what the Steelers are doing right now. I never bet against Mike Tomlin, but great defensive coach, great defensive head coach. But offensively, you lose that one player, maybe the quarterback that puts it all together, wide receivers, those little, that that the way they run the football there. They might have to change their offensive philosophy for their brand new uh, quarterback going forward. But it proves your point. And I think the same thing. When you look at McDermott and Frazier, defensively, you got it. All it takes is for your quarterback to connect all the dots. Josh Allen didn't have that the week that they needed it. I mean, the offense didn't have it the week they needed it. And they needed their defense to step up. And their defense was injured. And then, of course, you run into the perfect storm, a team you know you could beat, but you couldn't because you couldn't have the offense. You didn't have the defense. Just quickly, as you head into 2023, is McDermott in trouble? Was there any heat? No, are there you any, out of you your... How dare you? Yes, he He'll is. Six years in. Oh, yes, he is. He's six years in. Okay. Was this supposed to be the year? It was. Is it the year? No. Is next year the year? Uh, it better guys be. Guys, I don't want to go too deep into it, stop but the look. No, clearly no, you course. think he is. I think he is. What are you basing that on? Basing on the fact you ain't even gotten to the Super Bowl yet. That's why. And you were supposed to get there this year. You didn't get there this year. And I know it pains for you to, for me to bring that up for you. I'm you sorry. lost your offensive coordinator, replaced him with a guy that had no experience who still performed. And got play, better at who offense. Who still performed admirably. You had three road games, or three road games in 12 days. You won all three of those. You had a guy literally die on the field, and you're gonna ask me, tell me that he's on the hot seat? Wait, are, are you, you? Who, are you, 
Who do you replace him with right now? Give me somebody better. I mean, with a they're year, all going to get head coaching jobs. Mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. Let's say, let's say they miss the playoffs next year. We have a lot of time to discuss that. Who is it? The Name right now. He hasn't been fired yet. Name me a single <laughs> coach. Who's better? Go. Thank you. <laughs> Done. This you is mean, the Rochester Press Box. Our Buffalo Bill segment is brought to you by Ralph Honda. Like it or not, is next. Two are in the Super Bowl though. Here's the Press Box trivia question brought to you by Market View Liquor, where exceptional customer service meets an extensive selection. Jefferson Road. Hey, hello again, Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy. I have been traveling everywhere, and you can see my latest getaways right now. Just search for The Getaway Guy on Facebook. That's The Getaway Guy on Facebook. Here's a Press Box trivia answer brought to you by Market View Liquor, where exceptional customer service meets an extensive selection. Jefferson Road at 390. Welcome back to the Rochester Press Box, our Like to Not segment brought to you by Sport Clips, where the MVP experience is better than ever. Sport Clips, the pros and men's hair, no appointment needed. Stop by a Rochester location today. Tariq, like it or not, the idea that the NBA All-Stars are going to get together and like on the court just before the game, buck up and choose sides. I love it because I want to <laughs> see the face reactions when guys get picked to teams they didn't really didn't want to be on or guys that get picked to teams they really want to be on and then you get to go out and then play the game. It's like old pickup basketball. I love it. The only way that it could have been better is if they do like they do at the park where you make them shoot for it from the <laughs> sideline. Like that would be like the pressure of that foul <laughs> that shot, right? Like, like, come on. I don't think that they won't actually get to that. I thought the one way they could have made this better is the only complaint is like, well, you've got uh, Andrew DeCoupo, who Mm -hmm. isn't like Mr. Personality and all the rest, is is when you do your your all-star ballots, is also designate who you want to see as the captain, who is the guy who will then pick the team. Yeah, I would take that. So you could get, you know, you can get the pairing you want, maybe. I'll vote for Pat Beverly right now. I want him as the captain of both of them. Pat Beverly, please. A lot of of trash talk. And I'm going to mic them all up, too. It's going to be fun. That's fun, old school, whether you're in a gym or whether you're playground basketball. Let's go have some fun. It's nice to evolve because initially the NBA said, yeah, we don't want to do this whole thing with picking the teams because players' feelings are going to get hurt. And then they said, screw that. And then they did it in a pre-produced thing. And now they're just going right full bore on the court. And they'll get to your idea. They really will. So, like it or not, uh, Tom Brady retires. Oh, he did? <laughs> did he? Here he <laughs> comes. All right, just say it. I told you so. Just he say it. He can't do this He's twice. Got, no, 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 no. He, is he done done or is he really done? Are we going to do this again? Are you guys going to fall for this again? I don't know. You tell me. He here's, can't do it twice. Uh, watch him do it. And here's why he's going to do it twice. Right? Maybe he thinks he's done now. I mean, look, he had a rough season. Family life is not great based on the decision, according to reports that he made last year. It makes too much sense in San Francisco for him to walk away right now. You have a guy in Brock Purdy who I think they believe in, but he's not going to get any offseason. You don't want Trey Lance around anymore. you got to try and recoup as much value. Garoppolo's walking away. It's Brady's hometown He's going to take a snap in the NFL last year. And if you guys want to dare, look me in the face and tell me I'm crazy. All you have to do is play the tape back from the last time this happened. And you can also get to the point where I said, I don't care. I really don't care what he does from this moment on. Same thing with Rodgers. Could be traded to the Jets. I don't care. We'll see what happens. Guess what? Everybody report to camp and we'll see who plays football. I don't expect you guys to like have empathy for Tom Brady because like if you've got a long history of not having it. But last the whole thing, I mean, was that really worth it? He came back last year for a horrible season that Tampa Bay had, and, and he, put his, he put his marriage up as collateral. No, it's the lost, lost it all. It's the worst decision, arguably, by an athlete of the last 30 years. That being said, it's hard for me to have empathy for a guy who has the history that he has and has haunted the dreams of Bills fans forever. Look, at, He's the, a guy. at the end of the day, he's still a gajillionaire. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for me to have empathy for that man. But you have money. How much happier are you being a gajillionaire? Uh, I don't know. Give me, make me a gajillionaire. Let's talk about this. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't Any? know. No, no, no. I mean, listen, listen. He's gonna make just as much money doing TV, basically. More, <laughs> if not more, doing but TV. But this isn't a money issue. I mean, it, it, you're, you're telling a guy stop doing. You know, he's saying stop doing what you're best at, and maybe we're the best ever at. And again, he but just gave leads, up his personal life to do this. But this leads to what Duffy, out of it. But this leads to what Duffy said a couple of weeks ago of the insanity of Tom Brady. The guy did this a year ago. 
And here we are a year later. He defied it for eight or nine months. Here we are a year later, almost to the day, and he does this personal video and says, I only get one emotional retirement, so this is it. I'm good. He's on a beach somewhere. In eight months, he could change his mind. In three months, he could change his mind. Next week, he could change his mind. I don't care. I don't care either way. Let's go to camp. A pretty good discussion for someone who didn't care. I don't care. <laughs> Our Like It or Not segment was brought to you by Sport Clips. Unfinished Business is next. The Press Box Stat of the Week is being brought to you by McArdle's Restaurant in Fairport. Come home to McArdle's. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on the Rochester Press Box, our unfinished business segment brought to you by the Genesee Brew House, your beer destination since 2012. Visit the gift shop, enjoy tasting at our pilot brewery, and dine at the pub style restaurant at the Genesee Brew House. Unfinished business, Pat. If you're looking to make money as a head coach in the NFL, here's my tip to you. Just go away for a little while because it forgives all the sins you've committed in the past. For example, Sean Payton is back in the NFL as the head coach of the Denver Broncos. And the Broncos wanted him so bad, they gave up high draft picks while not really having any to ensure he would be their head coach. Now, let's put aside the fact that he was suspended from the NFL because of a scandal involving him trying to hurt opposing players. A scandal that they turned into a comedy Netflix movie about Ke with Kevin James, which I talked about earlier on this show. He won a Super Bowl. You can never take that away from him. He almost he al also won it with one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. After he left, things were not so good. And now he shows up to a Broncos team with Russell Wilson's corpse playing quarterback behind an offensive line that can't do anything to protect him. That team is on the downslope. It's got a nice defense, but we saw last year that defense can't win them games. His system doesn't fit with what Russell Wilson does well anymore. Yet, Denver wanted him so badly they mortgaged their future when they didn't even have a future. And the funniest part of it is, he's not even the most talented coach available to sign this offseason. Here's a little tip from me to you. If you want people to forget how bad you did at something, just stop doing it for a little while. Because all of a sudden, they think you're the greatest. I don't want to see any professional athlete just walk off without addressing the media, at least without a teammate like B.J. Hill. B.J. Hill plays for the Cincinnati Bengals, and at the end of the game, where a teammate, young, made a terrible play, but played the rest of the game the best way possible and extremely well, had to admit that he made a mistake. And in front of the media, while his eyes were still watering and while he felt it from teammates that later apologized for him for shouting him out or yelling at him going into the tunnel, B.J. Hill sat next to his young teammate and defended him sitting there, making sure that this young man wasn't peppered and killed with questions as to why he committed a penalty believed to have cost the Bengals the game against the Chiefs. That kid played a great game. But to have a teammate sit there right next to you, stand there right next to you, and be able to take the shrapnel for the thing that you may have done, you may have felt you lost that game, B.J. Hill is a teammate and a leader for doing it. Next time an athlete wants to leave early for a mistake they made in a game, just understand, you got a teammate somewhere in that room that should be sitting right next to you, protecting you. Classic comedic actor Groucho Marx once claimed, I'd never join a club that would have me as a member. Well, sometimes you don't get to choose. Before the word GOAT came to serve as an acronym for greatest of all time, it was used to describe an anti-hero, the bad half of being either the hero or the GOAT. No one wants to be that GOAT. It's a club no one wants to be a part of. Among its members, Buffalo Bills kicker Scott Norwood. For wide right in the 1991 Super Bowl, Bill Buckner, for his critical error in the 1986 World Series against the Mets, Jackie Smith, Dallas Cowboys are dropping a wide open would-be game-winning touchdown against Pittsburgh in the 1979 Super Bowl. Michigan's Chris Webber for calling a timeout that his team didn't have in the closing seconds of the 1993 NCAA basketball final. You can add to that list Cincinnati linebacker Joseph Asai for a late hit in the closing seconds on Patrick Mahomes, costing the Bengals a chance to win the AFC Championship game last week. Asai is only 22 years old. That's pretty young to be marked for life, but that's the way it is. He no longer has a choice in the matter. 
As far as I know, none of these people, Norwood, Buckner, Smith, Weber, nor Asai, chose to become infamous. Few do. It's an implied risk. To paraphrase Hyman Roth from Godfather 2, this is the business we chose. Unfinished Business brought to you by the Genesee Brew House. Gentlemen? Can't wait till next week. Final football game of the year, halftime, all that good stuff. Food. I always hate that it's down to one. You know, down to one. I'm just then you got to wait all the way. I'm looking forward to Rihanna. That's what I'm looking forward to. So. Mm. Very good. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week with the Rochester Press Box. You got to explain that. Oh, my wife was <laughs> <laughs> we're, on the, we're both on the same page. On oh, okay. All right, cool.